since October, and uh, a lot of people believe that you can't catch a carp in October. So I'm out here doing a little stalk, and let's see what we can find here. I've seen them already. I've caught a couple, so we'll just see how how we do <laughs> now that we're on camera. in the back of a cove we got north wind which is uh, of course October weather here and so we're gonna just kind of cruise on up in here and see if we can see any more carp like I said I got two back over in there we're gonna see what is possible here today especially on camera on cue really imperative that you have a good pair of glasses so you can see under the water you got to be able to you know have polar good polarized glasses with the right shade on them and uh, that way you can see under the water I don't see anything back in this corner here this would be a nice bass spot right there but we're not going to do that right now wait a minute there might be something over here Maybe a stick fish. I don't know. We're gonna see. A lot of, a lot of growth here from last year, and uh, we're mowing it down pretty good this year. Big bad tree right there. I think we're gonna bail out of this. So not only is that tree bad for boats, it's bad for fish because these carp are smart enough to just take a wrap job on that and you'd be all done with you. Okay, let's cross over here. See what we can do. I do see some fish moving over there, so we'll go take a look. Bunch of mud, bunch of mud right there, but I just don't see the source yet. I think we got some definite spawning action or fall feeding activity in here that kind of stirs things up. We're going to see just exactly what we can do here. I think we're getting warmer now. Getting warmer, getting warmer. The whole point of this trip is to prove to anybody out there that I can catch, or I can catch, you can catch carp well into October. And we're gonna try to go all the way till December this year and see what happens. That's a real challenge. I don't think I've ever made it past November. But, hey, where there's a will, there's a way, and where there's a boat, there's a way, too. Boats are amazing things when it comes to this kind of fishing. Really amazing. I can't believe what a difference it's made this year and what a great year this has been for carp on the fly here. Just amazing. There's one. Uh, we're just kind of on a 
three hour tour here now there's a lot of moving in there but none of it's like the last of that was big largemouth bass so we'll just get out in the open in the clearing here and see how it looks smell fishy and that's all that matters we don't have sense around video yet so once we do we'll definitely uh, start capturing smell for you and uh, you can be right here on board beautiful day probably about 75 degrees probably will top out about 81 it's October the 8th a Saturday and uh, there's no place I'd rather be there's a fish right there two of them Yeah, those guys are on the move. Once these fish are on the move, in other words, I call it the outbound, they rarely, rarely stop or turn back in for a fly. Very rare. So you let the outbounds keep going and concentrate on the ones that are facing in, and uh, your odds go way up. Just leave the outbounders and the guys that are on the move alone because the carp doesn't eat on the move. He stops to eat. So that's a big difference. We've got a good range right here. You can see a um, good line running right here. So we'll just ride with this. See if we can satisfy the itch to show you guys just how good things are. The light lower in the sky because it's later in the year we all know how the planets align and how the sun aligns so that makes a difference the days are a lot shorter that makes a difference but it's still doable still doable Beautiful day in the neighborhood, north of Pilot Point, Texas. You can hear the train going by. Mm, not seeing a lot of action right here. What I'll do for sure is I'll at least drop some still photos in so you can see the still pictures of, uh, of these fish that I've caught today. Uh, there's something right there. Yep, we've got several carp. There's one right here. So we go for the outside one first. right in here Heck of a deal. Heck of a deal. These guys, for being 
October. They're fighting like banshees now. Yeah, this guy's looking for anything he can wrap on. So what you do is you keep your rod up nice and high. If you keep that rod high like that, they'll just go around these bushes instead of wrapping around them. That's a nice fish right there. I'd say he goes five or six, which for around here is really top shelf. Threes to fives are vast majority. My biggest this year so far has been nine. A nice fish. But this guy is pulling the boat. As you can see, he's actually moving the boat now. I'd like to get him out in the clear. Let's try that. Nice thing about a trolling motor is you can kind of work these guys out in the clear. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Nice fish. Nice fish. Golly. Can't believe here we are in October and this is what we got. not quitting that was a shock to him that he got something that he got him back Six weight does what I needed to do here for carp, in which never had a six that I had any faith in until now. Started out with a Sage Z axis when I started catching carp. This is nothing like that. This rod has so much guts to it, it's not even funny. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Pretty. Let's see if I can get him on board. Let's see. Oh, guys, this is awesome. I can't believe you gotta get out here. You gotta come see this. Let's see if I can land this guy. Let's see, grab my net. Just so I can show it to you and prove that I'm not faking this whole thing. <laughs> oh boy. Nice fish. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me a nice fish today. Thank you. Looky here at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> That's a pretty fish, isn't it? Look at this guy. Whoa. Pretty fish, that's all I can say. Well, this is what you can do too with me. If you'd like to come on a guided trip, Lake Ray Roberts, carp on the fly, October, amazing.